Why should you ask for a certificate of location before buying a property? In fact, even before contacting a real estate broker. Joining us to explain the importance of this certificate is Global News real estate expert Nicholas Marku. Good morning, Nick. It's good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you, too. Okay, so we're going to try to answer the question this morning about why a certificate of localization is important. Let's begin with what it is and what it contains. So basically, the certificate of localization is a, a document that's going to go through a lot of legal aspects of the property, as well as determine the dimensions of the land and the structure on the building, uh, on the property, basically. So what we're going to do is get a kind of a bird's eye view uh, of the whole uh, piece of land with all the structures erected on top of the land, as well as uh, the dimensions of the property, uh, where the fences are located, the hedges, the pools, the decks, the galleries, and all that. Okay, I like that. That's a good explainer, a bird's eye view of the property itself. And then there's the report uh, part of it, which actually includes several other elements. Yeah, so the report part of the document is basically a lot of, uh, of rights that can affect the property. For example, if there are servitudes uh, on the land, uh, the best example of what a servitude is, is most properties have uh, a servitude given to Hydro-Quebec or to Bell Canada. So it's the right for them to access your property in order to work on power lines. Uh, there could be servitudes given to, to neighboring properties as well. So you have servitudes. Uh, encroachments. Encroachments are, let's say, there's um, the neighbor's fence. It's basically built on your land, or if their driveway is is passing onto your land. Uh, there's other things like uh, if you're located in a flood zone, if you're located in an airport zone, if you're if you're in compliance with municipal bylaws. So there's a lot of legal aspects that the document contain that that make it a very essential document. Okay, so basically what you're saying is that this document cuts out any unwanted surprises, you know, for you once you move into your home. Yeah, 100%. So so you want to, uh, under every circumstance, avoid uh, transacting without a certificate of localization. Usually the banks require it nonetheless, but sometimes, I mean, situations happen where, you know, you move ahead uh, without it. But uh, it's so important to be able to have it in advance and to have it uh, given to the notary even in advance so they can uh, make sure to go through it as well in case there's any problems. Okay, but who issues the certificate of localization? Who's responsible for this? In most cases, it's going to be the seller that's responsible for providing the document. And uh, basically, they need to make a new one uh, if it's older than 10 years old or if the one they have on hand does not represent the current state of the property. So if, if there was a pool added, if there was an extension made, uh, you'd have to get a new one. OK. And lastly, Nick, what should you do in the case of an irregularity? So so basically, you know, if there is a problem, the best way is, is for everyone to get together and kind of find a solution. Uh, and, and notaries also offer uh, a title insurance to protect against irregularities in case there is an issue. Uh, the big takeaway here, of course, is is in the past couple of years, the delays for obtaining a certificate of localization are, are very large. So it's like eight to 12 weeks. So if you're thinking of selling your home, you don't want to wait for the last second to order the document because it can take three months and it will delay your transaction. So if you're even thinking of selling, just start by ordering the, the document uh, right away if needed. Yeah, I was going to say you're going to sell your home faster than you get that certificate if it can yeah, take up to exactly. 12 weeks. Okay, exactly. Nick, thank you so much. Great tips this morning. We'll talk to you soon.